Hey everybody, it's me, Megs, and I'm back with the protective styles, y'all, because that is how I retain length with my natural hair, and it works for me. Today, I am using Diamond Virgin Hair Company Brazilian Straight Hair, and this is from their pink label, which is their more affordable line, but also still great quality. So I do have a Brazilian Straight frontal here. It's a 13 by 6, and I believe this is a 14 inch, and all the stats will be down in the description. So this is a pretty big closure, which I'm really excited about. Not closure, frontal, y'all. Frontal, frontal, frontal. Then I have three bundles of 20 inch, and this is in the natural color. I did not dye these bundles. I left them as is so this is how they came I'm just kind of looking at the bundles making sure that they are nice and shed free and so far I've noticed that but I did notice that this is of course it's the natural color so it does kind of have a brown hue to it which I don't mind so I just left it as is but you of course can color it so it can be jet black or whatever color you wish so I'm gonna go ahead and make my wig I'm gonna use a dome head a 21 inch and um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this dome style wig cap. I absolutely love these. I've been using these for years. So I put on a little cap um, and then I'm gonna put the cap on top because I'm gonna measure out or kind of mark where I want my frontal to go. So this is how I make all my wigs. I'm not the best at making wigs. I'm still practicing to make perfect. <laughs> so I put that on and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the frontal that I did bleach. It's, I finally figured out how to bleach a frontal, y'all. So another video about that will be coming up. So I'm gonna kind of like maneuver the frontal around to make sure it's where I need it to be. So I want the frontal a little, um, a little slightly above or forward from the cap and I'm gonna take a sharpie here a metallic sharpie so I can kind of see where I'm marking so I'm placing the the marker where I want the closure to be laid on my head so that's kind of how I know where to put the frontal so I did that so I took the cap off and I have marked where my frontal is going to be glued because y'all, I'm using hot glue. I just don't have patience for sewing. <laughs> so I found that this works pretty well for me. So I placed it on the, um, the wig head and I have it marked. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the, the frontal right at the edge of where the line is. So I take the back half of the frontal where, the, where it kind of ovals in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and place that there and take some pins and kind of secure it so once I start gluing, it won't move. Hopefully, you guys are following me. This was really hard to record, <laughs> and it's kind of hard to explain, so hopefully you guys are following me on what I'm talking about. So I'm going to take the pins, line it up with the line, the back of the, the closure. Well, I keep saying closure, frontal. The back of the frontal, you line it up with the line there and pin away. So as you can see, I kind of have it slightly forward. I don't want it lining up with the cap exactly because I'm gonna cut all that lace off. You get what I'm saying? So you put that there and make sure it's even on both sides as far as the ears, the ear tabs. So as you can see, I have it lined up against the back and I'm gonna take my glue gun my hot glue yes and I'm gonna glue the more solid area I'm not gonna take it I'm not gonna put glue on the actual lace part I only put it on the band part there and I just you know glue it in and just tack it on down it's pretty easy but it's just hard for me to explain <laughs> so as you can see I'm only putting it on that thicker area of the frontal so right there on that band and I just press it down and it's gonna be a little bit messy, but that is okay because the glue does come off of the hair once you comb it, so it's totally fine. So I'm just gonna glue that all the way down, like so. And I'm gonna do the other side. And this is pretty much it. So the frontal is on. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start to put 
the 20 inch bundles on the back so I'm just gonna go ahead and unravel and this hair is really really nice it laid so flat y'all I was very very impressed so I'm just gonna go ahead and measure out each track here and cut where I need to so I start at the base of the nape of the wig head but I don't glue it on the elastic part of it so I go kind of above it so I'm just gonna measure that out cut it if I need to to make sure it fits and pin it in the middle so I know that it's nice and secure because once I start to glue it I want to make sure it's exactly where I need to be so I kind of make these little bubbles and I just press it down and then I'm gonna take it towards the edge and just press it down too and I like I really like using hot glue too not only because I don't have patience for sewing but I like using hot glue because it also seals the weft too so you just take that and glue it on down and can you wash this wig even though it's hot glue yes you can I have not had any problems with making my wigs out of hot glue they have lasted a year plus of course over time you might have to kind of like touch up some areas where the um, track is a little loose you just you just will you know re-glue it over time so I'm just gonna continue to place track by track on the back it's pretty you know easy you just fill up the whole back and how long does this take this takes me about 45 minutes to do so say if you have somewhere to go you're like ooh, I need you know need a look <laughs> uh, you can plan out your time as far as making the wig it takes about 45 minutes for me at least to an hour because I like to take my time. So I just continue going, you know, just glue away, you know. So I will say towards the bottom half of the wig, I always have the lay the um, tracks closer together because I wanna make sure I get as much hair in there as possible. But then again, I don't like the overly like bundled look. I don't like a lot of hair. <laughs> so I do lay them kind of close together until I get to this point. So once I start to get to the top, I'll lay them out further apart because I don't want the top to be bulky. So I space them out just a little bit. I like a really nice natural, somewhat natural density look. So as you can see, I'm placing this one kind of further away And I'm just going to continue to place track by track until I am all the way filled up at the top. And as you can see, it's getting further and further apart because this will lay nice and flat at the top too. So we are all at the top and it's pretty much filled in now. I try to get it as close to the frontal as possible so I won't have any gaps when I do release the hair to style. So it does look a little white so what I do is I just take a sharpie and I just color it in. It works for me, you know. It just works. <laughs> So now we're done and I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wig from the dome and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the remaining of the wig cap off because we want our lace to show through right 
So I'm gonna cut that black off. The black wig cap, that is. Like that. So then I put it on and it's appearing that it's laying quite nicely. And the lace is gorge. This is my first time actually bleaching knots and I did a good job to where it doesn't look orangey. I was like, oh wait, did I really do it right this time? So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the remaining of the frontal around my ears. And I'm still learning you guys how to perfect a frontal as far as it laying very natural looking. I feel like I'm getting better and better. So that's done on that side. And I did tweeze the hairline. I'm still learning how to do that, but I feel like I did a pretty good job. So this will be in another video, y'all, because this took me quite a long time to do this. So I was really pleased about how it came out. So this is my hairline I, I tweezed. So that is already done. And I did cut away the lace and I made sure that I didn't cut it in a straight line. I kind of did like jagged cuts. So when I do decide to kind of bond it, it will blend right into my skin better. So I'm really pleased as far as how everything turned out with the frontal. I'm very, very happy. And this is how the hair turned out. Overall, I did glue down the front only, like the tippy tippy top. <laughs> and um, now I am just kind of taking some hairspray and getting rid of some flyaways because I noticed with the frontal, this did have quite a bit of flyaways at the top. So I really had to um, hairspray those down and it worked out really well. So of course this hair is flat ironed. It is the straight texture from um, the more affordable line by Diamond Virgin Hair Company. This is 20 inches and I am 4'11". So this is, I feel like just enough drama for me because I'm so short. So 20 inches is perfect and it comes about like top of tailbone length like that. And it has some really nice movement. I feel like it's pretty natural looking as far as the density goes. The ends are a little bit brown, which I don't mind. I feel like that makes it look more natural in my opinion. Um, so I really, really like this hair. It's really flowy, it's really pretty. I've gotten some um, compliments on this hair when I've worn it. I haven't had any shedding since wearing this hair at all. Um, but what I will say is that I noticed that my back of my wig, it has a little, a little space in the back little space so i have to pin that down <laughs> at the top so like i said i'm still learning how to perfect my wig making and over time i'm sure i will be perfect at this um i left the hair as is i didn't put any layering in it um nothing so i just flat ironed it straight and that is about it so um all information about this hair will be down in the description along with a coupon code for y'all and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later